So I just wanted to say a few words. Um, as always, it, it is a privilege uh, to be part of this intensive program, which has become over the past few years, a major force in the field of Buddhist studies. As you know, uh, the number of applications has been growing from year to year. Um, and this demonstrates that the need for such events and the interest on the part of graduate students um, and younger scholars. Although the opportunity to travel to old and famous universities across the globe is probably an important incentive behind this interest and behind signing up for these seminars, uh, this time the event was purely virtual and it was not possible for us to meet in person. Yet, there was a record number of applications, which shows that the most important motivation is the wish to learn, and uh, probably also to be part of something important, something that points to the future. From my own perspective, um, it is extremely gratifying to meet young scholars who represent the next generation of scholarship in Buddhist studies. Uh, with some of you, we met for the first time, uh, but will very likely keep meeting in years to come. I always learn a great deal in these seminars, partly while organizing my thoughts and preparing my presentations, and partly from the questions and discussion that follows, that follow. It is also very uplifting to see that even when uh, the world is in crisis, the willingness to learn is still strong and it is possible to organize events like this. This is, of course, to a large extent, the merit of Professor Chen Jinghua and his capable team at UBC, so Vicky and Carol. Uh, but I also uh, thank our virtual host, uh, Professor Buzzy Tizer, and most importantly, our sponsor, the Glorison Foundation. Um, including Mr. Young, whose generous support keeps us making all these seminars and other events possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>